What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Q, and I am back. All right, so we got another reaction video today, guys. And this one, this is one I found to be very interesting. I found this channel when I was just uh, just surfing the, you know, old YouTube barrier. And this is by the Hoof GP. I'm always plugging the channels that I watch or any video that I watch, and uh, you know. Uh, my camera for you guys you can see but uh yeah the Huff GP uh, has a YouTube channel this is uh, I was just surfing YouTube and I found this video and oh man yeah viewer disc viewer discretion is advised uh, viewer discretion is advised because ah uh, man this this video gets bloody uh, it's it's not a it's not a nice video it's a cow hoof abscess I I, I kind of like the farmers lifestyle I couldn't live it personally myself but I have mad respect for farmers and what they do uh, and uh, yo I just I, I like some knowing some of the more inner workings now he's not a farmer he's a hoof trimmer but still I didn't even know this was a job I didn't know this this is something that people could do so yeah uh, with the minute introduction Boy Q's back. Leave a like, share. Uh, there's a red subscribe button. Why don't you go ahead and, you know, like and the subscribe for real is what I'm all about. But uh, if you want to share it, then I, I would love that too. Um, so let's just get into this, shall we? Oh, man. Like I said, uh, if you're, yeah, if you're not into, like, bloody videos, this might not be the video for you. This gets kind of gruesome revisit my neighbor to see his big friendly giant of a bull he had Glasses a huge abscess off, which we helped to drain just the other day we get the vet in to lance the abscess fully and flush the whole thing out yeah. and then we revisit him for a third time guys this is the hoof gp all right I'm not that big of a channel, I probably shouldn't get struck for this one. I hope I don't get struck for this one. I'm going to talk over it just to make sure that, you know, it's covering it up. So in my last video, I headed next door to a farmer who had a bull with a seriously sore back left foot. He had been round discussing problems with his feet and mentioned how lame his favorite bull had become. So, after a bit of persuasion, we managed to get this. And that's an interesting fact about the Hoof GP. I like that, that, you know, I didn't know that, you know, farmers had to outsource some of the uh, he uh, health and upkeep of their cows to guys like him, you know, which is, and it seems like he really cares, too. I've checked out, since I've seen this video, I've checked that I did, like, a deep dive into his channel, man. I've checked out a lot of his videos, man. He's... He's very knowledgeable, and like I said, if you want to know more about, like, just hoof trimming in general and, like, cow care, this guy seems like the guy to check out, man. At least, you know, if you want to watch it for entertainment like this guy, then, yeah, I would definitely check this dude's uh, channel out. But back to the video. Big friendly giant into the crush and began trimming away at his back left foot. As you can see, he has a swollen ankle, but we can still help him through trimming. We applied two blocks to take the weight completely off that ankle and that digit, and then we trimmed away all of the excess overburdening and disconnected tissue to make sure that that abscess didn't connect down to the bottom. Once the trim was complete, a needle was pushed through a fistula or hole in the side of the abscess, and the farmer squeezed a large amount of pus from the pocket hidden beneath. Yeah, I've seen that. that was... and recycling, the farmer administered pain-relieving drugs. As you can see, this big fella still had some serious problems and was seriously feeling his feet. Yeah, yeah, I can see that, man. He got one big problem right over the, right over his behind too, man. Like, I get, I don't know. That's just how cows. I've been to a dairy farm, so now I'm kind of understanding, because I knew there was like more manure there than one normally sees already in a lifetime. But like, let's just say it's really making sense. So we hoped for the best and called for the vet. That 
Fast forward two days and we're back on the farm and this is Rupert, the local vet, tending to this big guy's abscess. Oh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, no, mm, no. Once the abscess has mm. been punctured or lanced at both the bottom and the very top of the pocket, Rupert uses a syringe with water infused with antibiotics to flush out the pocket beneath. But the holes created are not quite big mm. enough and all of the pus can't be easily extracted. So, out comes the scalpel blade again to make it slightly bigger and then the process of flushing really begins. Oh man. You got just realizing now, bro, when you got these type of jobs, especially like veterinarians, nerve trimmers and stuff like this, you gotta be you gotta be pretty tough, especially because I've seen a video where this dude I don't know if it was his or another hoof trimmer, but one of them was trimming a, a cow's hoof and he wasn't being that gentle and the mug like just like kicked him back it wasn't i guess he didn't it didn't catch him clean so he wasn't really that hurt by it but he was still pretty messed up by it like yeah cow kicking it it's, that's wild but um yeah man this is yeah let's get back to it Actually, thankfully, it's, it's, it's quite organised this bus, but it's uh, hopefully it's not actually in the joints as such. Rupert's explaining that the uh, consistency ooh. of the bus being released isn't that of the consistency that he would expect if this abscess was within this is, the joints of this big bulls. This is my. This is the second time. I, yo, I, if I had to see this, y'all got to see this too, man. This is my second time watching this, man. Uh, this is. What led me into his channel, I did not watch this one it, uh, again for this exact reason. Like, oh man, oh man, let's see, let's get to it. And that is really good for the farmer, because it means there is a much higher likelihood of a full recovery. The vet uses a small pair of forceps to make sure that everything underneath the skin is fully disconnected. Bro, I keep getting out of camera, anyway. guys. Like, this is messing me up. From the area I know they so gotta do this. this. Oh. Full recovery. Once that's done, it's flushed out for a final time before a tube of antibiotics well, just the pizza, steroids guys. is injected into the area. These antibiotics will stay there for the next 24 hours. When I'll return with my crush and tow to flush this out once again mm. and inject another tube of antibiotics. <laughs> and for you guys, you're just about I'm to I'm just going to have to start making, making light of this to As you keep can see, my stomach he's actually walking better than he was the other day. Uh, he's walking but better, but his butt ain't any cleaner. <laughs> no. <laughs> which is actually about no. Sorry, that's so 24 hours have passed bad lap. and we're leading the bull in for a third and final time. As you can see, he's coming up the rear, keen as can be. As you guys can tell, I still got to go to the dentist to get my, uh, my grill uh, worked on, so. Man, Missouri, comment down below if you know any great dentists out here, man. I'm already looking. I got, like, a couple of strong, uh, a couple of strong. Sorry, I'm talking a while during the video. I got, I got a couple of strong candidates already, but, you know. If there's anybody in Missouri that watches my videos and you guys know anybody that, that'll throw a good deal or whatnot, appreciate it, but back to it. So that we can flush out the whole area in preparation for another dose of antibiotics to be injected into the pocket beneath. Let's see what gunk is forced out of this hidden abscess site. I was just about to say what's happening here. <laughs> As you've just seen, a big blob of congealed blood is pushed out of the abscess site. Even this on its own will help to reduce the pressure within this bull's foot. Hopefully you can hear that we're a little more than jovial. That's because we are really pleased with how this bull is going, so we're in high spirits.
As you can see, the colour of the water being expelled from the area is really clear, and that's a fantastic sight. Now we're ready to inject this tube of antibiotics into the abscess site. I've shown you many cases over the last couple of years on the channel where I said vet intervention would be a fantastic option for a specific cow. And this is exactly what I've been talking about. This is not something that I as a hoof trimmer would be allowed to administer sorry. or allowed to instruct a farmer to do because it's not my profession. Well, I'm sorry guys, I probably should have paused it earlier than that, but I really wanted you guys to hear his explanation of it because I've been messed up since, since the first when the vet when the vet oh dude y'all seen it we all seen it let's see uh, let's 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 roll the camera let's finish this and then then I'll give you my full thoughts on on it afterwards. But as you can see, we've come together as a trio, and this big bull is looking all the better for it. He does need his other feet trimmed, but right now. We're concentrating on that abscess. That's strong yeah, boy like that, happen, boy. But he's clearly recovering and doing it much quicker than I thought he would. For now, guys, Lancelot, this big bull, just needs some rest, some TLC, and a bit of time. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to make... So, guys, that was the video. I'm glad you guys, if you stuck all the way through to the end of my video, I'm glad you guys stuck around with... Watch, uh, react to the video with me. And, um... Yeah. Like I said, I'm not a vet. I'm not a hoof trimmer, so I I just on I'm just a just a city kid that was on YouTube one day and then like the algorithm recommended this to me, so there there we go. Like I said, he's got his own YouTube channel, the Hoof GP. Uh shameless plug. Go check it out. Subscribe to his channel. Get get his subscriber count up there. Also get my subscriber count up there. Leave a like and write comments down below in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of this video. Uh, I tell you guys what I thought of this video. I, I was absolutely devastated, travesty, disgusting, entrapped, amazing, crazy. All these things kind of describe my reaction to this because I wasn't expecting half the shit I saw but uh actually I was because I've seen this before but it's been a long time since I've seen this particular video so yeah it it still stings like the first day that I saw no I'm missing but uh no more dramatics boy it's been your boy 1994 Q-Dog leave a like if you like the uh, reaction uh share the video let people know your boy's out here to get to a billion subscribers. I'm not here to take part, here to take over. One of my famous sayings. Actually, I kind of borrowed that from Conor McGregor, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so, yeah. That being said, your boy 1994 Q-Dog is out. Catch you guys later. Peace.